Hello everybody, I'm Melvin and I'm from 1991, guess the age. <laughs> I'm the owner of Ellie Lab Coffee, also Ellie Lab Roasteries, and that's all. <laughs> uh, basically, it's all starting from a cup of coffee when I was a student in Melbourne. So when I was studying overseas, I was trying the coffee over there. And the first cup of coffee I encountered, which is no sugar, no additive in it, and it tastes so good. There's a fruitiness inside. So in the end, end up like I was addicted to coffee. I was created to explore everything. So that's why in the end, after I done my studying, I come back to Malaysia. There's no coffee shop for me, and I thinking how about I open a coffee shop so that I can brew my own coffee, brew my favorite coffee for everybody. So in my coffee shops, we basically we do something differently. We started from roasting the coffee. So once we select our own sources from different countries, different origins, roasted by ourselves, then we do some experimenting to cupping, to try out the coffee. Then we started to brew again, use the coffee brewing methods to brew with the different equipments. Plus, in the end, we will perform let customers to choose their own preference to brew their coffee beans and let them able to taste different originalities and also different roasting degree in the same time. We have been trying out a different concept. We started from a cafe in the initial point and Right now, we slowly do some improvement. Until today, we are letting people to craft their own style of coffee. Why do we do that? It's because we want people to be able to have their choice, to select their preference in the taste. So that's why we provide different type of coffee. Then people come over here, can try their own coffee in the same time. Plus, we will give them some guide and which coffee beans have different tastes so that they can able to identify their own preference. In the future, they can select their own coffee bean as well. Besides that, we will introduce different equipment to them. That's why they can see through a different brewing methods or maybe for examples like brewing or maybe machine. So people can know exactly they like their coffee lighter or maybe heavier or maybe creamier so they can able to choose their coffee. It's all about experience and customizations. So first thing you will see, the thinnest form is flat white. So flat white, the standard is supposed to be 0 0.1, 0 0.5 centimeters for the form. So this is a flat white. The latte is about a centimeter with the fingers. Right, so cappuccinos, everybody favorites, or more common ones. You need at least two fingers thickness of the foam, or maybe two centimeters. So this is the cappuccino. So by the flavor profiling, when you drink the coffee, Cappuccino is supposed to have the strongest taste, mild taste from the lattes, and last but not least, milky taste from the black lights. These trees are the difference between the milk coffee. This coffee actually means to me is more about um, choosing the right cup to your right taste. Besides, uh, starting from long like ages ago, people think that coffee is just a beverage to keep you awake, you no, know, to whole day. But for me, coffee is not just keep you awake and also help you to sleep as well. Besides that, it's a moment to enjoy a sip of the silence to your own preference, own words, so that you can able to enjoy your own time, own sweet times to enjoy the beverage to your own self. So for me, a cup of coffee is not just a cup of beverage, it's about the lifestyle, plus it's also a part of your own words to discover to yourself how can you be different to rethink everything as well. Besides enjoying the coffee, enjoy your own time. <laughs>